Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and welcome back to MSU Talks. Hi, how are you guys today? Kami daripada pihak MSU berharap anda semua dalam keadaan yang sihat-sihat sahaja dan di Management and Science University ingin mengucapkan selamat maju jaya kepada semua calon-calon SPM 2022 yang sedang menyiapkan diri mungkin ada yang sedang menelaah dan sebagainya. Kami daripada pihak MSU wish you all the best and good luck kepada semua calon-calon SPM 2022. Kepada semua guru guru ibu bapa yang sedang menonton juga pada hari ini as usual MSU Talks kita akan mengupas topik-topik yang berkaitan dengan kerjaya dan program-program yang ditawarkan di Management and Science University dan sekiranya ah to all the viewers yang rasa macam uh, boleh tak kami nak melawat ke kampus MSU please do so because our campus is open every day and you can visit our campus dan juga anda boleh juga melayari laman web kami di www.msu.edu.my Or you can contact us through 03552168868. Jadi pada hari ini, MSU Talks kita akan mengupas satu topik yang cukup menarik. Previously, we are talking about fashion design, tourism, uh, engineering dan sebagainya. But today, hari ini satu topik, satu kerjaya yang cukup menarik, cukup penting sebenarnya dalam menjaga kesihatan masyarakat Malaysia. Dan kita baru saja orang kata apa, pasca pandemik COVID-19 dan kita dapat melihat bahawa peranan profesional di dalam bidang sains kesihatan sangat-sangat penting. And for today, our topic is from classroom to the back side ha, a journey of becoming a nurse jadi hari ini kita akan mengupas satu professional yang cukup penting iaitu sebagai seorang jururawat and saya tidak bersendirian pada hari ini I'm not alone here today with me I have three beautiful guests ha, tiga tetamu jemputan yang saya akan bawakan bersama-sama dengan anda jadi apa kata kita berkenalan dengan panel-panel kita pada hari ini silakan Terima kasih Sharon. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, my name is Rahimah Mama Nor. I'm actually is the lecturer for nursing program eh, in MSU. So I have about 16 years uh, teaching eh, in uh, nursing program. And before I uh, f- uh, uh, join eh, uh, the lecture, mm-hmm. uh, previously I'm serving in the clinical side, which is specialized in the critical care. Mm-hmm. That's it. All right, thank you so much, Puan Rahimah. Uh, next to Puan Rahimah is Silakan. Uh, Jay. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Jay. I'm currently taking Bachelor in Nursing Science in MSU. Uh, okay, uh, this is my fourth year. I'll be graduating soon uh, in the next few months. Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah. Okay, and uh, then yang manis ni? Uh, my name is Putri Zorida Adisa. Okay. So I am Diploma in Nursing currently in my second year mm-hmm. and currently also in my fifth semester. Right. Thank you so much. Okay, becoming a nurse is a dream come true for many. It's a journey that can take you from the classroom to the bedside and it is one of the most rewarding and fulfilling professions out there. But uh, nursing isn't just about the clinical skills. Sebenarnya ramai orang salah faham tau. Jadi orang kata mungkin jurawan ni hanya dekat ward sahaja ataupun jaga pesakit sahaja. Sebenarnya dia melibatkan holistic experience sebenarnya. And uh, not only that, uh, sometimes it's up to emotional level dan sebagainya. And kita juga akan melihat bagaimana kerjaya, pengalaman dan pembelajaran di dalam bidang kejururawatan or nursing ini di da, di management and science university. Jadi soalan pertama saya kepada Puan uh, Rahimah. Uh, so apakah uh, jenis-jenis or what types of nurses yang kita ada sekarang ini? Okay. Okay, people uh, mostly eh generally we only know that nurses is only a staff nurse yes. which is work at the Uh, the cut ward mm-hmm. eh, and so on. But we have different type of the nurses according to their specialty and also their own uniqueness. Mm-hmm. Okay, based on the area. Mm-hmm. So such as we have the uh, uh, we have the psychiatric nurse, which mm-hmm. is they are caring for patient who have the mental problems. Mm-hmm. Other than that, we have the pediatric nurse. Pediatric mm-hmm. nurse is the nurse that take care pediatric patients who kids. Okay, mm-hmm. kids age. Mm-hmm. Other than that, we have the geriatric. Nowadays, we need a lot of the nurses that in betul, the geriatrics, betul. okay, area because it's uh, now uh, we are in growing, eh? because mm-hmm. the technology, mm-hmm. the advancement of the uh, medications and mm-hmm. so on. So we have a lot of the population in aging. So yeah. we need a lot of the geriatric nurse to serve 
this population. Saya setuju dengan Puan Rema mm. because even myself pun, uh, mm. my family we are struggling to find uh, uh, macam geriatric nurse yes, ni yes. untuk take care of our elderly lah untuk yeah. ahli keluarga kami yang berusia ni memang quite challenging juga sebenarnya yeah. and saya rasa memang keperluan jururawat ni macam saya kata macam Puan Rema katakan tadi not only orang hanya ingat nurse dekat ward sahaja tapi yeah. sebenarnya dia banyak lagi jenis-jenis yeah. jururawat kan yeah. ok jadi uh, apakah dia punya sebenarnya uh, as a nurse kan Puan Rema as a basic role and the responsibilities sebenarnya ok uh, the role and responsibility on nurses mainly is about the providing care mm. to the patient. Mm. Uh, we are care for the patient or uh, treat uh, the disease and so on, make patient comfort, everything. So that is the, the basic of the nurses. Mm. But more than that, we are not only taking care, but we also provide help promotions. We are advocate for the patients. Mm. We teach patients how to prevent from the disease. Mm. We educate uh, patient and also the relative how to do their self care when they are discharged mm. from the hospital mm. and so on. Mm -hmm. And not limit to the care and also mm. promotion. We mm. also as nurses, we are involved with the administration and also mm. management, which is mm. we need to uh, 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 handle about the how to manage the manpower, mm. resources, all mm. to ensure that it's equipped mm. to enhance patient safety and also health status. Betul. Saya sangat kagum actually. I'm I'm I quite uh, how to say amazed with nurses especially in Malaysia yeah. because saya pernah masuk ke ward and I can see that tanggungjawab nurses tu dia penuh bukan sahaja bagi makan ubat yeah. uh, bukan sahaja monitor our heartbeat dan sebagainya but sampai ke tahap tukar cadar yeah. uh, betulkan kedudukan pesakit yeah. and even sometimes to some extent they are macam bila tak ada family members yang menjaga pesakit sometimes they wrong juga yang menyuapkan makanan yeah. at, up to the extent lah yeah. jadi sangat-sangat uh, orang kata apa saya kagumilah jururawat ini di Malaysia right so bagaimana proses nak jadi jururawat ni Puan Rahima proses ni eh? ok uh -huh. when we talk about the process uh, it start from the uh, 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 we take eh, uh, mm -hmm. to enter the nursing program so the candidate must pass their SPM mm -hmm. SPM level ok mm -hmm. and then they need to register mm -hmm. ok uh, to the nursing program mm -hmm. they learn so during the uh, learning process we enhance uh, because nursing program is balanced between the skill and also the mm -hmm. uh, knowledge so mm -hmm. if 50 50 percent mm -hmm. so means that after you uh, after we give the authorization mm -hmm. so students need to send to the hospital to the real mm -hmm. okay field they need to practice mm -hmm. they need to apply whatever that theory that we uh, teach mm -hmm. to the real situation mm -hmm. so that takes about uh, three years mm -hmm. okay three years so after they completing the three years program in diploma nursing mm -hmm. okay we are talking about diploma nursing mm -hmm. so after they completing so they need to sit for the mm -hmm. nursing professional exam okay mm -hmm. so after the they pass the uh, professional nursing exam so then they can be a registered nurse mm -hmm. so that is for diploma in nursing mm -hmm. and in MSU also we have the bachelor program mm -hmm. so bachelor program so they not come from the SPM level. So they come from the foundations. Mm -hmm. Okay, they come from the uh, STPM. Mm -hmm. They can come from the uh, any other diploma programs. Mm -hmm. Okay, other than nursing, diploma nursing also can and join uh, bachelor. can join for mm -hmm. bachelor nursing. So for uh, from this, okay, they need to at least uh, the CGPA to enter is two point five. Mm -hmm. Okay, CGPA is two point five, mm -hmm. and then uh, beside that, they also the additional. Okay, they need to credit in the uh, Bahasa Melayu, mm -hmm. they need to credit in mathematics and also mm -hmm. in science mm -hmm. in the SPM level. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, not miss is about the, they need to sit for MWIT. At mm -hmm. least they need to reach for band 3. Mm -hmm. So, that is the requirement to enter for the bachelor program. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then same. So, the difference eh, between diploma and also the bachelor is the level of the, uh, we try to uh, enhance eh, in the uh, bachelor, which is we try to emphasize on the analysis, analytic thinking, mm. okay, which is compared to the diploma level, it's mm. only basic, they mm. just the need skill, to know. Eh? Ah, ah. But in the bachelor, they need to analytic what actually the problem, they find the source and they try to solve the problem. So mm. that is the level for bachelor. Mm -hmm. So for the bachelor program, it takes about four years. Mm -hmm. So same after they complete four years of the theory and the practical sessions, mm -hmm. and then they need also to sit for the 
professional nursing board exam. I see. Okay. okay. Uh, to panjang lebar kan. The difference between the diploma and bachelor level. For your information, kepada semua yang sedang menonton, uh, di Management and Science University, we offering not only diploma in nursing but also bachelor in nursing. And if you feel that, oh, Cik boleh tak saya nak join uh, program diploma and bachelor di MSU ni? Yes, you can. You can call us at 03551-6868 or you can visit our website at www.msu.edu.my or you can reach us on our Instagram and Facebook, Twitter and even TikTok Ah, um, MSU Malaysia Jadi anda juga boleh menghubungi kami di sana Alright, so kita dah dengar daripada pensyarah How about, kita tanya pula student-student Dan bersama dengan saya pada hari ini We have two students One is Putri, Diploma in Nursing And another one is J, Bachelor in Nursing Okay, kita tanya pelajar Diploma dulu Ah, Yang abang ni tunggu kejap Kita tanya adik dulu eh. So, uh, Putri, Diploma in Nursing uh, Sebelum ni, Putri bersekolah di mana? Uh -huh. Jalan Kebun Jalan Kebun di Kelang Betul lagi Cik 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 Kebun dulu Jadi sebenarnya Syak Alam Syak Alam eh Bukan Kelang eh Syak Alam eh Okay Okay, okay. 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 And then Saya daripada Science Stream uh -huh. So Actually Saya Waktu tu Covid Covid betul So I do not have like So many choice Because my parents mm -hmm. uh, Does not Even let me to go Far away mm -hmm. Even though I got like Better Offer, offer. Uh -huh. uh, So MSU ni actually like one of the top list in my family Even my nephew and relative also Saudara so, ramai yang study kat sini Ah, Macam kena masuk MSU So oh, okay. when I enter MSU pun I can see my nephew there my, <laughs> uh, All your relatives is yes. here okay. So that's why I choose <coughs> MSU to pursue my diploma in nursing Why nursing? Um, ah, actually ah. I Uh, nursing is not my first ambition uh -huh. But I think Now? Now I like it and uh -huh. interested with it Because I like the vibe uh, mm. Helping people mm. And then I like to be all over The places in the hospital I like the rushing all People right. calling me Help here, so, help there uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, So for three right now You are in semester 5 yeah. So basically uh, What's the difference between semester 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5? Um, actually, every semester we learn different subjects. Mm -hmm. So, like uh, for semester one, we learn basic things. Mm -hmm. so, example, like common nursing do is mm -hmm. dressing. Mm -hmm. Then semester two, kita upgrade sikit mm -hmm. uh, Semester three. Inside, uh, mm -hmm. Then semester three pun kita upgrade because we learn uh, different subjects also. Uh -huh. so, Bila start pergi ke hospital tu? Actually, for nursing, every semester we go. Ha, ah, so setiap semester kena ke hospital. Yes. And right now, uh, Putri bertugas di hospital mana? Uh, right now, in hospital Tengku Amparimah. Right, Maklang. So, itulah pengalaman pelajar diploma. Eh. Jadi, guys, you can see here, even at the diploma level, kan, Puan Rahimah, kan, diorang dah start uh, practice mereka punya kemahiran di hospital. Dan diperhatikan pula, <coughs> not only from the, apa ni, the, 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 the Profesional dekat situ Maksudnya nurse yang ada Doktor yang ada But at the same time Pesakit juga Merasai rawatan Daripada putri sendiri Right Okay now J pula ha, Senior lah ha, Basically Okay J uh, Sebelum ni J bersekolah di mana uh, Hello everyone Yes uh, I studied in RMC Royal oh, Military RMC. College Okay And then I Science had, stream uh, Yes science stream Pure okay. science mm -hmm. And then I had my Foundation in science Here in MSU uh, Yes okay. And then I Take a uh, No, actually, I had my foundation in science somewhere else somewhere in else? university okay. in uh, UPNM. Uh -huh. Okay, and then I take my nursing course lah in MSU. Alright, so daripada foundation luar University MSU pun boleh join this bachelor, uh, kan? Yeah. So what make you choose a bachelor in nursing ni? Um, first, because I think I'm eligible to take bachelor right away, mm -hmm. and then. After calculation, I think it saves more time mm -hmm. compared to taking diploma first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, second is because I love the job being a nurse. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Is there any experience in your in your life that you feel oh this is why I want to become a nurse or is it just professionally you feel that this is for me? 
Um, I think I get a lot of influence from my mother I because uh, she is also a nurse. Ah, uh, there you are. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. And when we were small, she always uh, bring us to the to her clinics, right. to the hospital lah. Okay. And we sometimes we overnight there and stuff. I see. So I get I, I get to see what nurses do since mm -hmm. small. Mm -hmm. Lepas tu bila dah besar sikit, uh, I still feel compassionate. Uh, dalam bidang healthcare ni. Mm. Uh. And some of uh, maybe lah uh, apa ni masyarakat di luar sana only thought that nurse mesti perempuan macam putri. So uh, how do you feel as a male nurse, Jay? Uh, I actually feel quite special. Yes. Uh, especially yes. in the hospital mm -hmm. because we have our uh, capabilities, stronger power, yes. okay, faster flexibility, benda-benda mm -hmm. macam tu lah. Mm. So we are very much needed. Uh, macam, Actually, yeah, really yes, and needed. sometimes we can assist the female nurse also mm. kalau ada patient yang berat sikit ke mm. uh, ataupun ada benda-benda yang tinggi sikit ke, kita boleh tolong ha, Yes, so Puan Rahimah, sebenarnya jururawat lelaki sangat-sangat diperlukan ya? Ya, sangat-sangat Ha, sebenarnya ya, jadi yeah. adakah Puan Rahimah menggalakkan lebih ramai lelaki to join this uh, industry? Ya, yeah, saya sebagai seorang pengajar di sini, saya mm. sangat menggalakkan adik-adik uh, yang SPM yang mana nak Uh, join nursing, terutama lelaki, saya sangat galakkan. Bukan apa, sebelum ni kita ada stigma di mana kita fikir nurses is woman, nurses mm. is woman feel but now is break already the barrier. Mm -hmm. Nurses is not only for women, that is, we have a lot of the male nurse now. Mm. So come, join us. <laughs> okay J, back to you. Uh, so macam tadi Putri, dia orang dah start every semester dekat hospital Tengku Amari Maklang. So how about you, tell us more about your experience lah, learning experience here in Malaysia. Um, Actually, I quite enjoy mm -hmm. my learning experience in MSU. It's mm -hmm. uh, very interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, first uh, we have very dedicated and uh, qualified lecturers. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Okay, they uh, all these lecturers are actually they were nurses. Well experienced. Yes. Lecturers, yeah. Okay, they teach us in all of our nursing subjects, lah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, because they were also a nursing students before. Mm -hmm. So they always share with us their personal experience and also vision being a nurse. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. they will teach us how to like how to overcome the struggle. Mm -hmm. Okay, and also excels in both academic mm -hmm. and uh, practical sessions. Mm. So where you did your practical? Where I did my practical in a hospital Tengku Ampuan Rima, a okay. general hospital in right. Klang. Okay, I, I believe that hospital Tengku Ampuan Rima one of the busiest hospital yes. in Malaysia, correct? If I'm not mistaken, yeah. yeah. So, do you feel that someday, sometimes you feel ah penatnya hari ni? Is it true ataupun okay je sebenarnya, Putri? Sure not ke? Uh -huh. Tapi uh, there are times memang penat especially waktu puasa ah, Because ah, ah, fasting uh, yeah. Same goes the reason we don't have male nurse uh -huh. So mostly female nurse semua kecil-kecil So kecil -kecil. Like, <laughs> like we have to work together for five just to leave one patient Ah, uh -huh. Nak kena pesakit kan, pindahkan katil uh, yes. dan sebagainya Kalau ada male nurse senang sikit lah. So Jay please bring all your friends here to try <laughs> this nursing yeah. Alright, so uh, Puan Rahimah, what are the requirements to become a nurse? Saya rasa dah tanya, cuma uh -huh. nak tahu subjek-subjek dia. Adakah uh, pelajar-pelajar SPM tu wajib ambil biology, fizik and chemistry or science subjek saja sudah mencukupi? Okay, uh, talking about the requirements, eh, uh, mm -hmm. I talk about the diploma first, how to mm -hmm. enter diploma. Mm -hmm. So the requirement should be you need to pass the SPM level mm -hmm. with the five credit. So what subject that need to be credit? Uh, you need to credit in Bahasa Melayu, mm -hmm. you need to credit in Mathematics. Mm -hmm. So Mathematics, we have the additional maths, we have the elementary and also we have the modern maths. Mm -hmm. So either one, mm -hmm. uh, credit. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we have science. Science also we have uh, diverse, we have the general science, we mm -hmm. have the uh, biology, we have the physics, we have the chemia. Mm -hmm. So either one, eh? uh, one subject, credit, considered as a uh, uh, credit, uh, mm -hmm. accepted. Uh, and then, a need to pass in Bahasa Melayu Wajib. and also we already talked about the three credit mm -hmm. another two credit is from other subject which I is might be is come from the history mm -hmm. come from the pendidikan mm -hmm. Islam so mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. so then you can 
enter for the diploma. Ha, jadi itulah ada syarat-syarat kemasukan untuk program diploma uh, in nursing di Management and Science University. Dan seterusnya lepas diploma boleh sambung ke pula ke peringkat ijazah macam J tadi. Okey. Jadi kita ada sediakan gambar-gambar yang ingin kita kongsikan bersama penonton pada hari ini. Jadi mungkin puan Rahman boleh share sikit apakah gambar-gambar ni? Ni apa kependanya ni? Okay, so bila kita lihat gambar sini eh, kalau kita nampak ada our students eh, wearing in the uh, uniform, full uh-huh. uniform, there is two picture there. Uh-huh. So basically it's a real uh, picture on the side, in the hashtag, which is uh, this student is the final year, they are the doing the eh? management, yes, oh. they are doing the management, which is they are Uh, doing the report, mm-hmm. they are taking care of the patient, they are doing the report and then mm-hmm. uh, because we want they are feeling eh, in uh, in hand, mm-hmm. so they are pass over report the patient that they take care to mm-hmm. the real nurses who mm-hmm. are in charge at the hospital, at the ward. Mm-hmm. So that will be the experience that can be earned outside. I okay, see. and okay. other picture we mm-hmm. can see at the Uh, the, taman Tugu tu, uh, taman, taman Tugu, Tugu tu. Uh-huh. That's one is one of the our SDG program. SDG, uh, kalau boleh orang luar yang tahu, SDG tu adalah kita punya hibah masyarakat lah, basically. Yeah, okay. okay. Mm-hmm. So our in, uh, our initiative eh, uh, mm-hmm. to support the sustainable development goals, yes. which is we uh, encourage uh, students eh, to involve with the planting. Uh-huh. So here we are doing the planting in the secondary forest in the Taman Tugu. I see. Okay, and next at the upper. Uh, the the second largest one is actually is the picture before we proceed eh, to the our community service program uh-huh. for urban poor. Urban okay, poor. Uh, as we see, we are preparing all the basic groceries that we distribute to all the. It's about 50 to 20 uh, family. Mm-hmm. Okay, at the Kampung Sri Pinang. I see. So, macam mana J rasa selama belajar di MSU ni about this activities yang you join throughout your studies here in MSU? Uh, I- Actually, I gets to participate in GLP, mm. Global uh, Leadership, Leadership Program, Program. That's uh, very good. at Loha, China. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we we gets to visit uh, their nursing college mm. as well as uh, the hospital, mm-hmm. and we also organize some um, multicultural exchange activities with their nursing students. I see. Uh, so it's a, actually a great experience for us. And one thing is, mm-hmm. uh, the students that participate with the GLP actually need to organize the event, need to organize the trips, mm. meaning to say they need to come up with the proposal, they the are budget. the one, yes, they mm. are the one that need need to the count the budget, mm-hmm. need to organize uh, the the flight mm-hmm. and this and that lah. So the lecturers yang follow kita orang hanya ikut je. Ah, the monitor, they ah. memerhatikan you. Yes, ah. it is so that we we learn how yes. to organize event. Yes, independent. Yep. And uh, from there, uh, how do you feel that? Uh, I mean, your study is quite uh, busy uh, dan sebagainya with your class, practical session and everything. So, how you manage your time with activities and your classroom? Uh, how do I manage my time? First, I actually need to thank MSU uh, <laughs> because they actually uh, make compulsory for the students in mm-hmm. MSU to, to join. Uh, to Yes, to complete a certain credit hours of yes, PEC. Betul. Uh, the Personal, Personal enrichment competency. Betul. Okay, this PEC is uh, teaching us the soft skills. Exactly. Okay, mm. that uh, can prepare us for employment lah. Mm. Okay, in the PEC we are taught about time management. True. Uh, leadership skills. True. Communication skills. True. So dekat sana lah saya dah belajar macam mana nak mm. manage my time. <laughs> uh, macam tu. Ah, nampak tak? Uh, for your person J ni kan cakap macam politician kan because he is a ex member of our students representative council ha, jadi J juga merupakan bekas pemimpin pelajar di management and science university how about you putri ha, diploma level apa macam mana you uh, membahagikan masa you sebagai pelajar at the same time actively involved with curriculum yang kita sediakan di MSU Basically, I am very interested to be active. Mm-hmm. So every time nursing doing um, activities, mm-hmm. I participate here mm-hmm. because all of the activities are actually very very fun. Mm-hmm. Um, macam like community service, I really mm-hmm. like it. Mm-hmm. So I enjoy all of the com- uh, activities that I have been doing lah. Mm-hmm. So. Um, macam dia punya activities pun being had in weekend so like mm. it doesn't disturb uh, dia punya classroom punya time. Uh, do you feel different macam before you join MSU 
And now you dah semester 5 Ada tak rasa perbezaan Dari segi karakter diri you ha, Macam mana dulu pendiam sekarang Pembising ke Is there any changes <laughs> in you ha, Contohnya Yes ada Oh ya ke ada uh-huh. ha. So dulu memang I introvert sangat-sangat uh, Nak pergi kaunter pun Cakap pun takut Takut. Uh, so after masuk MSU Dah mula, mula slowly brave lah Then my mother also ada tegur I have changed Ah, Even your family pun perasaan lah Bila character this actually personal enrichment competency ini Sebenarnya diwajibkan to all students Di management and science university Uh, cross program maksudnya daripada perubatan sampailah ke fashion design daripada uh, graphic design sampailah ke apa ni bidang culinary arts ha, jadi semua pelajar di MSU wajib menjalani program-program di MSU ini program personal enrichment competency ini untuk membentuk jati diri to become a holistic uh, package uh, students yang kita ingin hasilkan di akhir pembelajaran nanti okey puan rahima so uh, Semasa pelajar-pelajar ni buat praktikal di hospital, oh. is there any uh, person yang daripada pihak faculty akan monitor mereka punya perkembangan di hospital? Alright, okay. Uh, uh, it's a requirement basically mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, from the Malaysian Nursing Board which is mm-hmm. we need to provide the clinical instructor. I see. So means that throughout the clinical experience, mm-hmm. uh, attachment students mm-hmm. uh, for each of the divisions mm-hmm. uh, in discipline, so we are provide the clinical instructor together with them so mm-hmm. what the role of the this clinical instructor basically is not only monitoring mm-hmm. but they are also try to uh, check and also uh, try to balancing the mm-hmm. uh, what they learn in the theory mm-hmm. and also is it student able to adapt in the real mm-hmm. okay uh, such as for example they are learning about how to insert the rice tube feeding for rice the patient uh, maksud ikut mana hidung ke mulut kat hidung aduh uh, okay <laughs> so we learn in the MSU mm-hmm. we uh, we do it at the mannequin so mm-hmm. but now it's different because now you need to do to perform it at the real real patients. human real patient so, uh, so means that you need to have the empathy you need to sensitive with the feedback or reaction of the patient and uh-huh. so on and also you need to analyze mm-hmm. after you insert is it the correct mm-hmm. is it any complication mm-hmm. to the patient mm-hmm. so that's Um, uh, trigger the patient, uh, mm. uh, student accountability and so responsible mm. with whatever they done to the patients. Mm. Aduh, sakitnya saya terbayang dah tu. <laughs> I already imagine this apa ni tube ni masuk ke hidung dan sebagainya dan throughout dan untuk makan dan minum ya. Yeah? Yeah. Ah, mencabar ya. Yeah. Okay, uh, so J, selama you practical di hospital, is there apa uh, kan is there? What is the most uh, kata apa? Paling mencabar lah semasa you practice di hospital paling mencabar i think is uh, when when we are required to do perform CPR dekat patient CPR eh uh, okey sebab especially patient, patient tu dah macam dah yes, yes. Uh, koma dan sebagainya ya yeah. okay. and then we we really need to do it properly because it's about life i say i say yeah. life so and death is, eh? life and death yes and actually i don't think i successfully help the patient lah because Aduh. i got swap out by the doctors and another person come in <laughs> tapi sebenarnya But, tu bukan perkara yang yes, mudah yes. pun it's, yeah. it's not yeah. easy it's not easy and it's it's really into the things yeah. it's not like kidding or can yeah. take two no. macam macam dalam filem kita boleh yeah. nampak kan macam yes. ah berjaya ah. <laughs> but not as easy as that kan yes. ah. macam putri sendiri apa pengalaman yang paling mencabar semasa di practical hospital i think same goes with you because mm-hmm. i explain it too but Since huh? I am junior, uh-huh. so we cannot do the CPR yet. I see. Uh, and because we really more strict with the guiding of the le- le- of the lecturer. Mm-hmm. So I think the most um, worst is to go through with the patient's behavior code. Mm. Uh, because bila kita jumpa uh, orang macam-macam perangai yang kita akan jumpa kan. Uh-huh. So ada yang degil, uh-huh. uh, ada yang Memang root mm-hmm. So I think that one is the most besar because Itu baru pesakit putri, belum mm-hmm. family dia lagi Betul oh. <laughs> Kita intention nak help but Betul. orang tak nak ikut cakap ah, ah, yelah, yelah. Okay so ramai yang tertanya I think this is my additional question for you eh. Apa kita tanya, apa kita panggil yang kat atas kepala nurse ni? Uh, yang ha. ini cap Cap eh, dia panggil cap eh uh. So apa tujuan cap tu? Sebelum uh, Puan Rahimah uh. jawab, saya nak you jawab dulu putri uh. Uh. Kenapa nurse kena pakai cap atas tu? Uh. 
Kenapa? Okey, maybe Puan Rahimah boleh bantu. Uh-huh. Okay. So originally, previously, yeah, uh-huh. uh, before we are wearing, uh, before uh, Islam is coming, uh-huh. so nurses actually is come. Uh, we bring yeah, uh, uh-huh. n- uh, nursing uh, to Malaysia basically is from the Europe. I see. Okay, so okay. they are based on the nuns, yeah, uh-huh. nuns. So they are wearing the cap, everything. Uh-huh. So basically, this one is the traditional. Tra- tradition in uniform the uniform lah uniform, ah, uniform dia simbol ah, the symbol the symbol as a nurse orang nampak yeah. tu memang tahu tu nurse ah. yeah. saya pun selalu terfikir kenapa dia pakai topi tu eh untuk apa kan ah macam tu jelah alright and one more thing j i i always notice that nurse dia suka pakai jam kat dia punya uniform ah, dia yeah. why is that macam ah, sekarang so ada kan jam tu apa ah, yeah. jam tu as you can see kalau kamera boleh zoom sikit jam tu ah. <laughs> okay so why uh, selalunya nurse akan pakai jam di ah, uniform actually is uh, due to kita kena ambil vital sign of the patients vital sign ah, okay. dia punya pulse rate especially Asli. and also the respiratory rate of the patient mm. yang tu ialah um, basic lah nak tahu sama ada patient tu is a, in a good conditions mm-hmm. so we will not take out our phones or mm-hmm. we'll not looking for any wall clocks mm. so we we'll use the watch to time their rates mm-hmm. ha, macam senang lah nak record. kalau ada jam senang ha, lah kira, yeah. kalau tak ada jam susah juga kan ha, kalau pakai phone kita nak kira water drip also oh nak kena kira ha, eh water kira drip eh? yes kena dia ikut doktor punya order I okay see. doctor's order uh, there will be different rate of uh, drips uh, laju oh. ke slow ke dalam satu jam kena habiskan ke Oh, ah, macam tu. baru saya tahu. Yes. Drips tu pun kita kena kira eh. Yes, there's calculation for it. Ah, masuk exam juga yang tu. Ha, ah, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Sebenarnya mencabar eh nak kena kira drip kita macam lantaklah masuk habis kan. Ah. Mungkin next bottle kan ah. Eh? Rupanya dia ada timing dia, dia ada dose dia kan. Ah, yes. Dia perlu menjaga benda tu sebab doktor akan monitor uh, bukan monitor doktor akan memberikan arahan and the nurse have to monitor it, yes. right? Okay, so Puan Rahima, uh, The challenges as a nurse kan cukup mencabar, correct? And yeah. uh, long hours, eh, kerja mm. yang panjang, yang memenatkan. Orang lain dalam aircon duduk kat office. You guys, aircon pun kat sometimes hospital tak ada kan? Mm-hmm. Kena berdiri lagi. So, uh, bagaimana uh, jururawat ini me- menyeimbangkan perkara inilah maksudnya dengan cabaran-cabaran yang begitu? Okay. Uh about the challenge eh, faced by the nurses actually is many the main thing is actually is heavy workloads mm-hmm. we know nurses is heavy workload uh, worldwide eh? this mm-hmm. issue is worldwide mm-hmm. so why the nurses is heavy workload because of the shortage of the nurses Staff, uh. Uh, nurses mm-hmm. so uh, to to handle to cope with this basically mm-hmm. we need the good teamwork Okay, among betul, friends, betul. among the interdisciplinary, the doctor, mm. the dietitian, and so on, we all work together. Mm. When our team member is uh, uh, can sacrifice, why not us also? Mm. Uh, uh, I give the example. For example, in the 2000s, uh, 20, I think, during mm. the banje besar oh, hari itu, banje okay. besar hari itu, so uh, many nurses are stuck from the home; they cannot go. Okay, to work, to work. Uh-huh. and also the nurses at the hospital also is stuck. Tau they cannot go. Ah, uh, hmm. going back. Hmm. So everybody is sacrificed, hmm. and they are uh, 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 sleep at the hospital, and also they are try to rotate. They are working long hours. Hmm. Okay, they sacrifice, leave their family members hmm. and so on, hmm. just to serve to the community. I see. So basically, in the in nursing, whatever that. Uh, challenge that we face the first thing is about the teamwork the good mm-hmm. teamwork the good mm-hmm. member you will love to works and serve the community mm-hmm. so kalau macam jururawat tu selalunya usually uh, dia punya period of working dia macam mana dia bahagikan bahagi siang malam ke macam mana dia okay. punya shift dia alright right, right. selalu saya tertanya juga ni ha. nurse ni tak tidur ke sebab saya bangun bangun daripada katil dia mesti dia ada nurse ha. <laughs> cuma muka je lain ha okay. lah. right. so uh, apa uh, for working uh, time so for nurses is depend on the which area that you works okay mm. if you work at the clinic so mm-hmm. which will be the divided uh, mm. means that uh, 8 to 5 Okay, if you work mm-hmm. at the uh, ward, so it will be shift, mm-hmm. shift duty. So mm-hmm. we have three shift. Mm-hmm. We have a morning session, we have the evening session, and so we have a uh, night shift. Mm-hmm. Okay, so for morning we start at 7 mm-hmm. a.m. until 2 p.m. Mm-hmm. For the evening shift we have start 2 mm-hmm. until 9, mm-hmm. and night shift is start from 9 until to the uh, 7 a.m. Mm-hmm. But that is a scheduler basically. Uh-huh. We are not going back at two. Uh, uh, maybe there is uh, emergency cases. Maybe we need to drag. Uh, 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 going back late. Uh, 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 
so that yes, lah, maybe the retail. Kerja apa pun ada overtime. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not only a nurse, eh? yeah. every position, every professional in Malaysia pun sometimes we love yeah. extra hours too. <laughs> okay, now kita tengok gambar-gambar ni pula kan Puan Rahimai. So kita dapat ada tengok ada macam kenduri kendara ni apa cerita ni? <laughs> okay, so gambar yang tengah kupas bawang tu sebenarnya mm-hmm. we are having program with the community mm-hmm. at uh, Kampung Sungai Pinang also. Okay. We are All work... the MSU students ni? Yes, yes. Okay. okay, we work together with the villagers. We are preparing for bubur lambuk. Mm. So this bubur lambuk, after that we package, mm-hmm. packaging and then we uh, distribute. give uh, distribute to the uh, people I surrounding see. the village. Okay, that's uh, number one uh, for Suka the kupas bawang. Suka tengok nurse-nurse nurse masak eh, um, dah berapa pula bekal eh. Masa ni baru nampak, pernah um. pegang pisau ke tak? <laughs> Selalu pegang okay. pisau ni je pembedahan. <laughs> nah, macam tu, kan, eh. Okay, the next three uh, picture actually is the activity eh. Okay. Which is we do the medical check-up at okay. the community. I see. Uh, okay. Oh, nurse juga boleh buat medical check up eh? Ya, yeah, medical check up. Okay. Alright, so uh, saya rasa kita akan ke soalan yang terakhir dah ni. Mm-hmm. So, Putri, what is the most interesting part? Uh, orang, orang dengar macam, eh susah lah jadi nurse ni, penat lah. Tapi apa sebenarnya mm-hmm. yang indah, yang best uh, jadi nurse ni, Putri? I think the most interesting part is you can make differences in their life. Exactly. Um, you can put smile on their face, especially mm-hmm. after they healthy mm-hmm. and then after they are they can be discharged from the hospital mm-hmm. so in that also we can see how precious life is mm-hmm. we can also see how uh, the relationship in our life are much more memorable and value valuable mm-hmm. um, other than items money and also professional success betul bila kita sakit all the harta-harta tu dah tak berguna lagi mm. betul masa itulah jururawat yang penting <laughs> <laughs> so Jay uh, as a bachelor students so apa yang paling best sebenarnya menjadi jururawat ni hmm. some people might treat nursing merely as a job mm. as a method to earn money earn money yeah, yeah. but for me uh, I feel motivated mm-hmm. okay and i also get the satisfaction mm-hmm. when i see people cured from their exactly. sickness exactly. Uh, i see them uh, getting better from mm-hmm. any pains Betul. okay and mm-hmm. also as small as they gain some health knowledge mm-hmm. after we provide them some health education mm-hmm. yeah uh, I'm an outdoor person. Okay, I love to jungle trekking, camping, travel. Mm-hmm. So whenever we go out by groups, mm-hmm. I can always volunteer myself to mm-hmm. be their travel guide also. Ah. Ah. <laughs> and also in some kind of uh, like volunteering work, mm-hmm. like disaster relief volunteer, mm-hmm. I can actually join the medical team. Medical ah, team. Daripada kan? jadi yang tukang pindah pindah barang tu kan. Ah. Yang tu ramai boleh buat. Ah. But I can actually join the medical team yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, the most important like, actually mm-hmm. uh, nursing is uh, very high in demand true in every corner of the world Betul. as long as a person is dedicated and up for challenge mm-hmm. okay uh, nursing actually have a lot of opportunity in growth and development true. in their job prospect for example like mm-hmm. saya, because my mother is my example Mm-hmm. Okay, she does not work only in Malaysia. I see. So, for example, for me, mm-hmm. I plan to go to Singapore to work for a few years. I see. After that, maybe Arab. Uh-uh. Then I can go to Canada, uh-uh. Australia, New mm-hmm. Zealand. Everywhere I can go because everywhere in the world need a nurse. Need a nurse. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Betul. Your skill is recognized worldwide. Yes. Right? Uh, mm-hmm. Maybe we don't speak their language, but the skill speak for itself. Yes, right? True. Okay. So, Puan Rahima, what's your advice to all the students out there? Ha, nasihat kepada calon-calon SPN tu ke yang mungkin berminat to join a nursing program in MSU? Okay. Um, saya punya advice untuk semua uh, sama ada yang memang minat nak jadi nurse atau memang tak ada rasa nak jadi nurse. Mm-hmm. Sebenarnya kita boleh build up benda tu. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sebab majority student kita sebenarnya Mula-mula memang mereka tak ada minat jadi nurse. Mm-hmm. Mak suruh, family suruh, saya tak nak, saya nak ni, saya nak ikut kawan. Mm-hmm. Tapi family suruh masuk sini. Mm-hmm. Tapi bila go through the process, learning process, they mm-hmm. go practical and so mm-hmm. on. So, they start develop their love to be the nurse. Mm-hmm. They know their functions. 
okay when serving back to the community mm. so my advice whatever that you think mm -hmm. uh, if you don't have any idea at all what mm. you want to be become after this come join us ah, come join ke. us <laughs> okay putri mungkin ada rakan-rakan lain yang sedang menonton apa nasihat putri kepada adik-adik yang mungkin nak join nurse ni ha join seronok tak macam tu silakan uh, nurse seronok and demanding job so you do not have to worry uh -huh. if you do not have job because it is really a security job hmm okay good okay uh, j any last words uh, to all the viewers last today? words uh, for the male lah. Oh. For the male lah, tak semestinya kena jadi engineer, arkitek, tak semestinya nak jadi doktor. Uh. Even doctor also might have problem to find a job. <laughs> uh. But as a nurse, especially male nurse, uh -uh. dalam unit-unit yang critical, critical. like emergency, mm. OT, operating theater, mm. huh, this kind of units, memang high demand. Demand lah. Yeah. <laughs> Nampaknya jail lepas so, ni kena yeah, demand lah. You eh. can try tak tak perlu dah ada stigma stigma yang oh laki ni jadi dia macam malu ke ha, tak no it's not ha yes lagi We best. provide service I think maleness will glamour lah sekarang yeah, eh. Ah. <laughs> Alright, so I guess uh, itu sahaja yang kita dapat sediakan untuk anda pada hari ini. Sekali lagi kepada semua penonton yang menonton our MSU Talks for today. Do not hesitate. Jangan ragu-ragu lagi to call us at 0355216868 or you can visit us at www.msu.edu.my or you can just come to our campus walk-in. Ha, datang saja ke kampus kami dan kami akan membawakan anda ke seluruh kawasan kampus untuk menyaksikan sendiri bagaimana pelajar-pelajar in nursing ini mempelajari kemahiran-kemahiran mereka di Kampus Management and Science University. Jadi kepada semua calon-calon SPM, kepada calon-calon STPM dan kepada semualah pelajar-pelajar yang sedang menonton kita pada hari ini, ibu bapa dan juga kepada guru-guru juga yang mungkin ada yang menonton. Thank you so much for your time di MSU Talk sampai kita berjumpa lagi di sesi yang akan datang dan kepada calon SPM 2022, selamat majulah kami ucapkan daripada pihak Management and Science University. Sampai jumpa lagi. Assalamualaikum.